Though Guyana, Suriname, and Belize are geographically located in South and Central America respectively, they are all considered to be Caribbean countries. Guyana, for example, in South America, borders Venezuela, Suriname, and Brazil, and Suriname similarly borders Brazil, Guyana, and French Guiana, a French territory. It is even a more extreme case for Belize, which shares its border with only Mexico and Guatemala and is surrounded by only Spanish-speaking countries. So why is it that these countries are often grouped together with the Caribbean? And what makes a region the Caribbean to begin with? Let's now tackle this question. Please like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for our future Caribbean videos. First, let's examine what makes the Caribbean the Caribbean. The definition of what is the Caribbean can be a deep philosophical question if taken to its core. Really, if you think about it, what makes a region is just what we define it as. North America is considered usually to be just Canada and the United States of America, and sometimes Mexico depending on who you ask. But there is no strict definition of why that is. This is the same with the Caribbean. Geographically, the Caribbean is considered to be enclosed in the Caribbean Sea, which stretches from the southeast of the Gulf of Mexico and the North American mainland, east of Central America, and north of South America. Generally, the countries and territories within this space are considered part of the Caribbean. But some countries are not in this geographical area, but are still considered part of the Caribbean. For example, Barbados is technically in the Atlantic Ocean, and so is Bermuda, but the two countries are usually considered part of the Caribbean. Why? As you astutely recognize, Guyana, Suriname, and Belize are not particularly in this region, which is where most of the confusion surrounding their Caribbean status arises from. But like Bermuda and Barbados, being part of the Caribbean goes beyond location, and there are three other reasons why these countries are considered part of the Caribbean. Number 1. History the first is the history of each country. The history of Guyana, Suriname, and Belize is much more aligned with that of other Caribbean countries than their respective neighbors in South and Central America. For example, these countries were once British colonies. In the case of Belize and Guyana, they were predominantly British colonies, and in the case of Suriname, the country was under British rule for a significant amount of time. This history of colonial rule through the British and in small part the Dutch for Suriname more closely aligns with the similar colonial rule experienced by other Caribbean countries. Compared to Latin America, these countries experienced more black population growth due to the Atlantic slave trade, faced similar struggles for emancipation from European leaders, and even gained independence around the same time and much later than many Latin American countries. For this reason, the shared experiences of these countries more closely align with other Caribbean countries than with their Latin American neighbors. Number 2. Culture The second main reason they are considered part of the Caribbean is their culture. History and culture can be considered two sides of the same coin, and the history these countries experience shaped their culture in a way that more closely aligns with the Caribbean. As mentioned, Due to the dynamics of the transatlantic slave trade, Guyana, Suriname, and Belize have larger populations of African descendants when compared to Latin America. This is not to say that the slaves were not trafficked to Latin America, and there are no large populations of black descendants living in these countries. But the black population in Guyana, Suriname, and Belize makes up a larger proportion of the ethnic demographics in these countries than in their Latin American neighbors. Another element of these countries that makes them more closely aligned with the Caribbean is their language. Fun fact, Belize is the only English-speaking country in Central America. This language fact is also the case for Guyana and Suriname, which are both English-speaking and Dutch-speaking respectively. Suriname is unique, as well as it is the only country in South America which has Dutch as the official language. Though Dutch is the official language of Suriname, its cultural connections to the Caribbean mean that many inhabitants of the country know and converse in English and in small part French. 
other aspects of culture that these countries share with the Caribbean more than with their neighbors in Latin America are their food, festive events, music, and sports. For example, Guyana is quite into cricket, a sport that has not seen much traction in Latin America in comparison. Suriname also follows this path with its musical genres like Calypso, which is shared with the rest of the Caribbean. Food in Belize more closely aligns with many of the dishes in the Caribbean. Boil up or rice and beans, the national dish of Belize, consists of boiled rice, vegetables, egg, fish, and bread dumplings, boiled dough, and is a staple that almost all the Caribbean countries share. All in all, when you consider these three countries, you can see they have a vibe, which is distinctly Caribbean. Number 3. Politics Last, but by no means least, is the shared politics these countries have with the rest of the Caribbean. For starters, and possibly the strongest case for Guyana, Suriname, and Belize to be considered, is that they are part of the Caribbean community, CARICOM, an intergovernmental organization that is a political and economic union of Caribbean countries. CARICOM has the primary objectives to promote economic integration and cooperation among its members, ensure that the benefits of integration are equitably shared, and coordinate foreign policy. CARICOM was established by the English-speaking parts of the Caribbean and currently includes all the independent Anglophone island countries plus Belize, Guyana, and Montserrat, as well as other British Caribbean territories and Bermuda as associate members. Guyana is a founding member of CARICOM, and the headquarters of CARICOM is located in the capital, Georgetown. Belize and Suriname are also members of the Caribbean community, and as such, with all members of CARICOM, are a part of the single market and single economy of the other member states. The single market and economy can be considered similar to the European Union in Europe. All members of CARICOM are free to trade with each other with little to no taxes, travel freely to each other, work within each country without a visa, and much more. This connection alone makes these countries more closely tied to the Caribbean than to their geographically closer neighbors, as CARICOM aims to provide economic integration, foreign policy coordination, human and social development, and security for its members. Frequently, CARICOM members vote unanimously on the international scene like the UN or World Trade Organization, and the members closely share a vision for the region. So as you can see, while Guyana, Belize, and Suriname may not be Caribbean islands, and though they are closer to Latin America in terms of their geographical locations, they are still part of the Caribbean of nations. These countries have a shared history, culture, politics, which more closely aligns with other Caribbean countries like Jamaica and Barbados than they do with countries such as Colombia or Mexico, and the Caribbean is happy to have them. What do you think of Guyana, Suriname, and Belize being part of CARICOM? What are the reasons as to why they should be considered part of the Caribbean? Let us know in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. Also, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell to stay tuned for our next video. This is Jairi Caribbean.